Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. UMA Catholic has a history of producing top football players, and the latest is cornerback Jeremiah Polk, who recently announced his commitment to play Division I football at Brown University. It was amazing. I mean, it's all I've ever dreamed for ever since I was a little baby. Since. I mean, it's all my dad ever talked about. My dad told me, you want to play Division I football? I said, yeah, and ever since then, we just worked every single day to be the best we can be on and off the field. Last season, Polk had two interceptions, nine pass deflections, and two fumble recoveries for the Shamrocks. You know, he's a big he's a big corner. At the end of the day, he's one of those guys that in the secondary you can get to. You know you can get somebody that can cover, but at the same time have him come down and cover the run as well. He's going to make sure that he's doing all the little things, and when he leaves, he is continuing to work when he gets goes home and he goes and does stuff with his, with his father. And Brown is world-renowned for its academics, and Polk is considering studying criminal justice. I just chose Brown because academics, I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat Ivy League academics. Part of a lockdown secondary for Yuma Catholic this season, and all of their eyes are on bringing a state championship back to Yuma. Free physicals for local athletes, the Exceptional Community Hospital says health care remains a barrier for many families, which can impede on their ability to participate in sports and other extracurricular activities. They add that providing free sports physicals is a step towards removing this barrier and improving the health and well-being of our community's youth. They'll just check all the systems and make sure everything is um, where it needs to be. And if there's any hesitation, then they have them follow up with primary care or another special specialist to make sure that they're cleared um, for sports. To our athletes, have a great, wonderful, successful year. Study hard. Study hard, play hard. The program now runs, runs from now through September 13th. To schedule an appointment, visit our website at kyma.com slash sports. And guess what, folks? We are now just two weeks away from the kickoff of the prep football season here in the desert southwest and our first episode of Friday Night Lights. To get you all caught up and ready for the 2024 season, we'll be showing team previews for all 17 schools in the area where you will get to know which players to look out for and the identities of every single team. It kicks off tomorrow when we head to training camp with the Central Spartans. Also, this season's first edition of Friday Night Lights will air on August 23rd, right here on News 11. And believe me, I cannot wait. Back After a 